hey guys, here are my predictions for the 2017 AQA C3 exam. So, I have to tell you that I'm just a teacher, I'm not an examiner. I do not know any insider secrets, I cannot tell you exactly what is going to come up in the exam. Um, all I am is a teacher who has looked through the past papers and sat down, thought about what's in the specification and here are my thoughts on what might come up. So with the new specification started, we have to expect the unexpected, especially in C3, which is a lot more um, forward thinking than maybe C1 and C2. You have to expect they're going to throw something in there which you will be able to do because they can't just throw something in there you'd never be able to do. But it might be something unfamiliar and this can throw people a lot. Do not let it freak you out. It's going to be okay, I promise. As much as I can promise. Um, just sit there, think about things logically, think things out clearly. One of the ways they could do this is testing for ions. They are highly, highly unlikely just to ask you, what is the flame colour for this? Or if something gives this result, what is it? It's much more likely to be a um, logic puzzle. Sorting things out is not going to be an obvious question. I'm really, really sad that loads of organic chemistry is falling off the specification. Um, you're just not going to need it anymore, which is a shame for me because I really, really love organic chemistry. Loads of it comes up in A-level. Um, so I think they're going to ask a lot about it this year. Or rather, if I was an examiner and one of my favourite topics was falling off the specification, I would ask a long question about it in the exam. Um, now obviously the examiners may not be as nostalgic as I am and they may completely ignore how I feel about organic chemistry, which they're probably going to do. But they might make it a big thing because it's falling off the specification. How to do a titration was last year's big six of mark question. So it is unlikely, but still possible, to be the six mark question this year. More likely is that it's going to come up as a maths question. Now in previous years, the maths question due to alternate between titration calculations and bond lengthy calculations. But then in 2015, they threw in a calorimetry calculation, which we hadn't seen before. And then in 2016, it was a bond lengthy calculation. Now, if somebody was looking for a pattern, which do not exist in exam papers, then this year's maths question might be a titration calculation. But obviously, the examiners could completely ignore this and make it bond to be your calorimetry, so you need to know those really, really well. If you're not sure about your um, titration calculations, pop over to my um, website where I've basically written a book on how to do maths in chemistry and physics and other bits. And there's loads and loads of questions in there for you because it could be a tricky, tricky one this year, not just a standard one. So if we're thinking about written six markers for this year, um, because titration came up last year, this year I think it's going to be a slightly softer subject, some more kind of like ethical subject. So it could be anything to do with water ethics, it could be to do with um, changes in the periodic table, so the difference is between now and then, just kind of like, you know, how did they know what it was going to be? Or it could be, not, not so pretty away from the practical one, like a really, really sciencey one. So like trends in the periodic table, so the difference in reactivity in group one and group seven. All of those would be really, really good six markers, and you can prepare your answers for those, which is amazing. Other things you need to know really well are going to be water, so scale, scum, um, potentially the ethics behind what the government puts in the water, energy level diagrams, endothermic, exothermic are great, great questions if they're going to come up. And then equilibrium, but more in a situation sort of thing. So going back to the flame test at the beginning, more kind of like a logic puzzle. What would happen if we did this? And don't just expect it to be about ammonia, which you've learned about in class. It could be about a reaction you've never seen before. And what they want you to do is apply what you know to this new reaction. Now this is coming from, this is the, like, the new style, the way the A-levels are going. This is really, really testing you to see if you're worthy of those A's and those A styles. Um, so good luck guys, if you haven't got it already, go to my website and get my free um, revision guide. Um, if there's anything I can do to help you, just let me know.